Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another one here on the coach's desk. Of course, it's the NCA's outdoor championship that is held at Tracktown, Eugene, Oregon. You understand? So we're gonna be giving some results on the men's side and we'll be talking about high jump for Romain Beckford. We'll be talking about the 800 meter at least from Jamaica and also the 400 meter man from jamaica but before we get into the details people please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel all right so let's jump right into it let's kick things off or clear things or with the high jump as romaine beckford yes romaine beckford won another title and this time the outdoor division one title ncas high jump two point two six meters and that's a season best for him he uh was atop of a uh, tyrus wilson tyrus wilson 223 and caleb snowden 223 uh tito aloff 220 and devin laudermilk 220 uh Kyrie washington 220 uh ryan rankin 217 and brady pallen 217 that rounds off the top eight of the men's high jump congratulations to remain beckford on uh winning that uh, title the men's high jump and i think that is in an indication of where he is going to improve for the remainder of the season if he wants to you know do it big at the olympics now we jump on over to the men's 800 meters where we have um, Shane Cohen, 144.97, a personal best, taking the men's 800 meters ahead of Sam Whitemarsh, 145.10, and Finley McClare, 145.66, a personal best. Tyrese Roden clocked a new personal best of 144.70, but that, no, that was not enough uh, to bring him into the medal standing. He was inched by McClare. Uh, he, he did uh, fourth in that one. Also, another Jamaican in this, uh, Kimar Farkison. He clocked 146.38 for seventh in the finals there. So, good attempt there from our athletes. And definitely, we, 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 we know that everything can't be smooth sailing all the time. But we have to congratulate them on a job well done all right so let's talk about the men's 400 meters that is one of the race that i loved in terms of what transpired in that race and a, a very uh a very calculated race from all the athletes in that one you know they went out in that uh first 60 to um coming off the curve bringing that momentum into the street in, into the back stretch so that they can stay tall and sail down that back stretch they were all in pole position they were all in what you'd call it um a, a situation where they were in the ascendancy um coming off the curve with 100 meters to go they were still even yes they were even and it took a sprint for all those athletes and it was so close at the end yes it was so close at the end it was amazing normally you see um, athletes begging for the line but these athletes again they were they were moving as fast as they can to the line now cw cmw that's christopher morales williams took the title in 44 47 just ahead of uh, samuel ogazi and Jamaica's Javon Powell, 44-54. That was a massive personal best for Javon Powell. You could see Javon Powell sprinting. Yes, at, as I talk about sprinting, he was the lead off for the men's 4x100 meters for Florida. So definitely Javon Powell showcase why he was the lead off in the men's four by 100 meters after he sprint to the line of the 400 meters it was a big run from him definitely a massive personal best the fastest jamaican for the year 
over 400 meters at 44-54 and massive personal best for him. You can't ask anything better of him in a finals. And certainly, I trust and I hope that he will improve for the remainder of the season because certainly the Jamaican trials will be coming up in a matter of about two weeks or thereabout or just did over two weeks and that is a competition that is a for a team that is very 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 difficult to make but with the 400 prowess that we have right now I think Javon Powell as the fastest man should be the, be in the ascendancy where this event is concerned. So congratulations to Javon Paul on making the podium of the men's 400 meters at the NCA's Outdoor Championship over there in Track Town. In fourth position, we have uh, Judson Lincoln, 45-30. Sorry, that's fifth position, 45-31. That's Lincoln. Uh, Johnny Blackberger. 44.90, that's for fourth position. Emmanuel Bynum, 45.75 for sixth. Raheem Hills, another Jamaican, he clocked 45.78. He's also the teammate of Javon Powell. That gave him a position of seventh. Uh, Justin Robinson, 45.92. He was eighth. And Ahmad Robinson, he was disqualified from the event. So again, we talk about our, our leading 400 meter runners right now with, uh, what's his name? The world champion out injured, seemed to have picked up an injury in warm up at the Racers Grand Prix and he was limping around the finish line. Definitely, he seemed to be in a spot of bother. But you have like a, a Javon Powell and a Sean Bailey who also clocked 44 95 uh, going sub 45. So these two at least are ahead of the pack right now as we speak with improvement. Certainly they are going to get better. And uh, we will try our best to put a, a, a solid 4x4 team together. Coming up in June, I think it's probably two weeks from now, we'll be gonna, or a week from now, we should be having a meet where the team is going to be trying their best to qualify for the Olympic. Will they make it? I mean, this, this seems like a tough ask where that is concerned. But certainly, if these gentlemen put whatever they need to do to the wheel, then they, it's a possibility. It's a possibility that they will definitely make it. So, in all in all, good performance um, from, from Sean. Um, and we look forward to seeing him improving. He might take a few days rest and then jump back right into it in preparation for the national trials that is coming up June 27 through to the 30th so look out for that one people share your thoughts on this one until next time stay safe peace out